I can't get my ears in it. Can you get my ears? Can you see my ears? Just got a baby girl and I have matching ears. Hey everyone, it's Laura Laws. I am so excited for this video. I am gonna do my top five Disney bucket list. So I'm um, gonna start with number five and we're gonna count it up to number one. So let's get started. Number five, I wanna stay in a club level. Um, we've been to Disney World probably, I'm gonna say I've been close to 40 times in my lifetime. When I used to go with my mom, we would stay at like the Value and then sometimes Animal Kingdom Lodge. I've stayed at the Yacht Club with her as well. The Yacht Club has always been my favorite until they recently refurbished it. I'm not as big of a fan. But I have never stayed at a club level. I just, we are always in the parks and I just never thought it would be worth it. But I think now that I have a child, she just turned one, I think it might be worth it. We might spend more time in the room. So with club level, you pay extra, you get concierge service, which I think they can help you out with like dining reservations. I'm a big planner, so I usually don't have any trouble. Although I really want to get into beaches and cream this trip and they've been booked up. Um, but with club level, they have like food set out um, throughout the day in the club lounge. And then they also have alcohol, which my husband and I would partake of. I think the resorts that I would most likely like to get club level in is the Polynesian because it's supposed to have spectacular views of the castle with the fireworks and they pump in the music like at um, California Grill. That is an amazing place to have dinner. They turn the lights down, you can watch the fireworks and they pump in the fireworks music. So the Polynesian and the other one is Animal Kingdom Lodge. I love Animal Kingdom Lodge so much. The only thing I don't like about it is just how far away it is from all the parks and it just, you can only take the bus. Where with the other parks, either at Epcot or Magic Kingdom, you can take the monorail or a walk. My number four would be Victoria and Albert's. It's something my husband and I always wanted to do, but we usually go for four or five days and we go to Disney. I don't think we've ever gone for a full week. We usually walk like nine or ten miles a day, like commando style, and it's just too much to do it for a whole week. And so taking like a time out of four days for like a three hour meal um, just seemed always like a lot, but it's supposed to be one of the most spectacular meals. It's like five diamond, four diamond, three. I think it starts at like $185 for seven course meal and it goes up from there. So it is super fancy, but that would definitely be on my Disney bucket list. My number three would be Alani. I have never been to Hawaii. It's definitely you know on my travel bucket list is to go to Hawaii we lived in Miami for three years and I mean it's just tropical and beautiful and you cannot beat the winters in Miami and I had so many people who I was friends with who lived in Miami their whole life and they just always thought like why would I go to Hawaii like we live in Miami but so many people are like it is just on the most incredible place and it's not like Miami it's just its own special place so Hawaii is definitely on my travel bucket list and then Alani just looks amazing my daughter who's one loves 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 Moana music we listen to it probably like three times a week while she's eating or just in the kitchen or just in her room playing so and it's pretty much what I put on when I like need to file her nails or she hurt herself or something to calm her down. So she loves Moana. I think she would love Alani. They, from what I've watched in like vlogs and just other people talking about it is that they set it up kind of like a cruise ship. So it's, um, they have kids club. So I think once she's three years old, I think it's like the cruise line. Once you're three years old and up, then you can go into the kids club. So that will probably be something that I'd like to do um, probably when she's even older. I mean, it starts at three, but I want her to remember it and um, really experience it. So maybe like six or seven. My number two on my Disney bucket list is kind of a two-parter. It's a Disney cruise. I have been on many cruises, mostly with my sisters and my mom but um, I've been on two Disney cruises. My mom passed away um, about four years ago, 
but for her 60th birthday, my three sisters and I surprised her with a cruise on the Disney. We told her we were going to um, the uh, Space Center down there, and then we told her as soon as we went over that bridge and we saw the ship and she started crying, and it was just a wonderful trip, that whole trip. And then my husband and I went on a seven day Mediterranean cruise for my birthday um, almost three years ago in 2016 and he had never been on a cruise and he absolutely loved it like it's just so romantic and so relaxing and Disney does an amazing job of course so here is kind of what I would like to do um, for my bucket list for Disney cruise I've only been on the Disney Magic and the Disney Wonder. Those are the first two ships. So I haven't been on the newer ships, the Disney Dream or the Disney Fantasy. So I would love to do a split stay, like before Landon turns three, because that's when they can go in. The, the kids' clubs are free after you are three. If, it's, if they're under three years old, then you have to pay like an hourly rate to go into the kids' club. So I think it would be fun to do like um, a four night or three night cruise after you do like three nights at Disney. So you go hardcore at Disney, you're exhausted and then you can relax. And Castaway Key is the most beautiful island. Um, so I cannot wait to go back to Castaway Key. We just went that one time with my mom's cruise. So that would be the first part. And then after Landon turns three, they have a new ships coming out. Um, in 2021, 2022, and 2023. So Landon will be in 2021, let's see, it's 19, 20. Yeah, so she'll be three years old when that first ship comes out. So I don't know, maybe it's a seven night cruise, but if it's a seven night cruise, um, my bucket list item would be once she turns three to go on that brand new ship for a week because she'll be able to be in the kids club and I think she'll really enjoy it as well. Oh, and mommy and daddy get a break. Yeah, it's called the Oceaneers Club and from 3 to 12 years old and just like the reviews I've seen of it, it's, the kids just don't want to leave. Drum roll please. Drum roll. My number one Disney bucket list would be Adventures by Disney. Um, when we went on that seven night Mediterranean cruise with Disney, we did two tours through Disney and the one was absolutely incredible it was a vip adult only tour of rome if you tour rome or if you research it at all you'll quickly understand that you can spend a half a day in line like for the coliseum or the vatican so we i mean it was a lot of money i don't remember how much it was three or four hundred dollars a person but we it was seamless it was like you put those earbuds in and the guide talks and you're just so relaxed and you're looking around and you're being told all about it. We didn't wait in one line on uh, the Sistine Chapel. We kind of waited, but it was one of the most amazing days of my life. And you, we had two guides and they just whisked us through everything seamlessly and we got to see so much stuff and just historical things of Rome that we would never have ever been able to do on our own. And I regret now not doing that with Pompeii when on that stop. We just kind of wandered around Pompeii on our own and we had a great time, but I would have really, knowing what I know now, I wish we had done a guided Disney tour. I think that's a peek into Adventures by Disney because Adventures by Disney, you have these guides and you get to go and see a lot and it's very adventurous. And if it's anything like that day in Rome, then I think it would just be amazing. It's very, very expensive. And I think, how old does the kids have to be? So I wrote down five, I took a look at them and these are like the five that I'm most interested in. So um, the kids, you have to be a minimum of four to go to Scotland and Ireland. So that would be interesting. Um, there is one in Norway, which looks incredible. Another one in England and France. And those two, you have to be a minimum of five years old. And then the South Africa trip looks amazing. You have to be a minimum of six years old. So um, this is obviously something we're not able to do for at least another three years, three to um, five years from now. So, but it's definitely a Disney bucket list. Those are my top five Disney bucket list items that hopefully I get to do one day 
and stay tuned because I have um, some Disney videos coming up of where we take our daughter Landon for our first birthday to Disney World. I am so excited. Well, thank you guys for watching and let me know what would be on your Disney bucket list. I think this is just a lot of fun to dream about and they say like put it on paper and it could come true. Dreams come true. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.